up everyone welcome back to our channel where i inspire your desire to be great thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching another video you guys oh my god i know it's been so long like too long since i've done a video but here we are and i hope this video will like help catch you guys up and fill you guys in on why it's been so long since i've done a video before i jump into it to my amazing supporters thank you guys so so much for just consistently supporting me throughout this journey i know it hasn't been easy i know i haven't been perfect i know i haven't been consistent with my videos but i truly appreciate every single one of you that always just show me love in person in the comments on my videos on instagram on facebook all that stuff so thank you guys so so much i really appreciate you guys if you are new to my channel welcome definitely click the subscribe button down below definitely give this video a thumbs up and make sure you leave comments of what other videos you guys want to see from me and um the main reason why i decided to do this video was because i realized youtube help videos are very um popular and my youtube help video that i did i only have one it has like 4k views and you guys love it or you upcoming youtubers definitely love it so i figured why not do something similar so of course as you guys can tell by the title of this video um i'm definitely just informing you guys on the hardest part of being a youtuber or doing youtube whatever something along those lines is going to be the title of this video um i really just wanted to jump on camera be transparent with you guys so you guys know like i love doing youtube it's something that like i look forward to doing and i plan on doing long term um but it just gets hard you know as a youtuber and um watching youtubers over the years i always used to wonder like why are they inconsistent or why is it that they post for three months consistently and then a month goes by and like you only got one video out of the whole entire month and what i realized is that being a YouTuber is not easy because life happens and you can be on camera all you want and act like everything is okay, but when you turn off the camera, if things are not okay, they're not okay and that's that. You know, you have to take care of what's off camera. What's off camera is more important than what you put on camera and I feel like um, a few things I can list and this is based on my experience. Um, maybe everybody's experience is not the same, but I feel like generally speaking, this is like any YouTuber should be able to relate to this um, being the hardest thing about being a YouTuber. So one, it's being consistent and being consistent when it comes to YouTube can definitely be hard because life happens. Life is unpredictable. And for me, um, I can definitely be honest and say why I haven't been posting as much as I would love to is because I've been busy with my 9 to 5 and with my business outside of my YouTube channel. So it makes it hard where sometimes I'm like, for example, some days I get up and I'm like, oh, um, like I decide that I'm going to cook and I'll cook like a really nice meal and I'm like, darn it that could have been a video but the time it would take me to film while cooking it's a lot harder than it seems i do have some cooking videos on my channels and you guys love that but um filming and cooking is a lot harder than you think sometimes i do stuff throughout the day and i'm like darn it i should have vlogged but vlogging is it's really like it's not as easy as it seems and i have a ton of vlogs on my channel but whether people realize it or not incorporating vlogging or filming into anything that you're doing it takes more energy and effort than people think it does in a sense that you have to be strategic and creative with whatever it is that you're filming so when i'm filming my cooking video it's not just like oh put the camera right there and record every single thing that you do no after you film you have to cut stuff out you have to edit you got to think to yourself okay this is too long this might bore the supporters this might hold the supporters interest this may or may not hold their interest at all you know so that's one of the tough part is being consistent and again being consistent because life happens you know you can wake up today thinking that you know you can wake up on top of the world today thinking everything is going to go great everything is going to be so wonderful and then all hell breaks loose throughout the day you know you get a flat tire your siblings start tripping your parents start 
nagging you for stuff like like just unpredictable things you know life events happen people get sick in your family or god forbid someone even passed like life events just happen you know and that's the reality of being a youtuber where some days you probably do get up and intend to film and think to yourself that you want to make a video or you should make a video but again things happen and it doesn't always go as planned you know watching youtubers videos you'll see them They'll start vlogging and they'll get caught up throughout the day and they don't even finish vlogging the whole entire day because again, things happen. And that's something that I've learned as a YouTuber. So for me, I'm fine, I'm okay. It's just, again, like I said, being consistent as a YouTuber is definitely one of the hardest parts about being a YouTuber because you can also tell your subscribers that, you know, um, I'm gonna be filming and posting Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, for example. You don't know what Wednesday, Friday is going to look like. Today could be Monday, great, you get your first video up. Tuesday could come and you get caught up in so many things or life happens and things that are more priority than you filming a video happens. What are you going to do? Film the video or take care of your priorities? Your priorities will always be there. So that's the point that I'm trying to make, that it's not easy to get up and be like, oh, I'm going to post videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays because you don't know what Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is going to look like. Or another thing, for a month straight, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday could be good. Then something happens. Maybe your car breaks down or whatever and you don't have a car. So the time it's going to take you to get from point A to point B takes up much more time and it doesn't leave you enough time to film a video. So that's the first part. Um, the second part that I say is the hardest part of being a YouTuber is finding yourself. Um, knowing that, okay, this is me and I have to consistently put this out and this is what my supporters gravitate to. Rather than saying, okay, because everybody does pranks and that's what everybody watches, maybe doing pranks is not you, it's not your thing, you know what I mean? So even if you try to do it, that doesn't mean it'll help your channel grow because if, at the end of the day, if it's not you, people are not gonna gravitate to it. So I feel like that's the hardest part is finding, is creating content where it's you and at the same time, your audience will gravitate to it. You don't have to compromise and be someone who you're not because that's my goal. I don't wanna be someone who I'm not on camera. Like I hate it when you know you see someone one way on camera or online and then you meet them in person and it's two different person i don't want that to be the case i want who i am in person to be congruent with who i am on camera so that's another thing that's hard it's learning to be transparent and yeah that's the second thing so inconsistency transparency or trans transparency in other words the third thing that's also hard is when you have people <laughs> that watches your channel and watches your videos and stuff, but they want you to put out a part of you that you're not comfortable with putting out yet. And I've had this happen multiple times, but I've always just blocked it out and decided that my channel will always be my channel at the end of the day. If you want a channel like that, you make your channel like that. But I feel like sometimes you get pressure from your supporters to know a certain part of your life that you don't want to put on camera. It's the internet at the end of the day. And you, I feel like me, as it being my YouTube channel, I should have a right to say, you know what, this is the content I wanna put out. This is the part of my life that I wanna share with my supporters. And this is the part that I don't wanna share with my supporters. But sometimes it's hard when you get that pressure from certain people that watches your video so i would say that's the third thing that's hard about being a youtuber um fourth thing is patience okay um being a youtuber is never an overnight success the process is the process at the end of the day and i feel like subconsciously sometimes it can get discouraging you feeling like oh my channel is not where i think it should be necessarily so you kind of um, take steps back and don't put in as much work as you should. So again, patience is definitely a hard, it, patience is definitely challenging when it comes to building your YouTube channel and that goes with when it comes to being successful at anything because anything that's successful and that's going to be long lasting success 
it definitely takes time but you just have to be patient about it and the fifth thing that i would say is hard about being a youtuber um what was number five i should i should have wrote this down but again like this has been in my head and i was just ready to talk about it so yeah but um i don't know i guess we'll just drop number five because this video is already long but anybody that's watching this that's like an upcoming YouTuber or whatever, or that's just pursuing their dreams and their goals in general, um, I feel like the most important thing, and that's something that I'm working on doing now, is just finding out what the gaps is in being successful with whatever it is that you're trying to pursue and figure out how to close those gaps. So for example, like I was saying, YouTubing, being a YouTuber um, and having like a consistent schedule, you can't control what's gonna happen Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So maybe you know, okay, Sunday, this is how Sunday is. Barely anything can happen on Sunday. You have more control of what happened on Sunday because of the fact that you don't really go anywhere on Sunday. So you could probably film three videos back to back and drop one on Monday, drop one on Wednesday, drop one on Friday, so that whatever you told your supporters is in alignment with what you told them. So if you told them expect three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, film three videos on Sunday, bang them out. So that's something that I'm working on because I don't want to just make excuses for myself as to why I'm not where I want to be as far as a YouTuber is concerned. But um, yeah, definitely that's just something I want to do is like, just encourage whoever's watching this video that no matter where you're at and you know you feel like you might feel like you're not where you want to be just keep going you know don't give up and that's something I have to go back to as well um, I definitely need to go back to filming motivational videos because I feel like when I go back and look at the old comments and you know even every now and then when I put out motivational content on Instagram and people respond I'm just like dang like I really need to go harder with the motivational part of my YouTube channel because I've done like I said vlogs motivation and um, cooking videos and you guys actually like all three contents I just need to work on being more consistent with it but yeah, I hope this video helps somebody, motivates somebody. I need to get back on track. And like I said, I can't really tell you guys. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to work at being a better YouTuber. That's all I want to do. I want to work on putting out more content for you guys. And again, like I told you, it's not easy. And as I'm talking, I remember what number five was. So the hardest part about being a YouTuber, and this is number five, is accepting the fact that becoming a successful YouTuber is harder than people realize. So sometimes, and I dropped a video on this before, um, as far as like relationship was concerned or marriage was concerned or just being successful at anything is concerned. A lot of the times things will turn out to be more difficult than what you thought or difficult than you expected. And I feel like regardless of the fact that it's more difficult than you expected, the challenge is most people quit when they realize that something is more difficult than they thought it was going to be. Most people quit, most people give up, most people retreat. But I feel like the bottom line is no matter how difficult you find out that something is, if you're genuinely passionate about it, if you genuinely want to succeed at it and pursue it, I feel like you should continue pursuing it. You shouldn't let the difficulty of achieving it set you back from pursuing it. So um, that's motivation to myself. That's motivation to whoever's watching this video. Don't let um, you discovering the difficulty of something set you back or keep you from doing it. You know, whether you have dreams of going to school, whether you have dreams of owning a successful business, whether you have dreams of running a successful YouTube channel, don't let you discovering that it's more difficult than you thought it was keep you from, um, keep you from pursuing it. So that's number five. The hardest part of being a YouTuber is accepting the fact that it's more work than people think and you have to put in more time, you have to put in more effort, you have to be more consistent. And of course, all four of the other things that I said, that's things that I didn't know um, before YouTube, you know, until I started doing YouTube myself. Because like I said, I used to question um, 
I used to question YouTubers and be like, why, like, oh, this couple, for example, haven't posted a video in a month, like, what's going on? And then I realized, like, after doing YouTube, well, maybe that whole entire month, they have to take time and take care of their personal life and take care of things off of camera that we don't see, that we don't know about, you know? So, um, even though something might be more difficult than you thought it was, if it's your dream, if it's your goal, if it's something that will benefit you, if it's something that will change your life for the better, and it's a dream or a goal that you have, definitely pursue it. Do not allow the difficulty of it to cause you to give up. And that's me right now, like I said, I'm not gonna quit YouTube. When I told you guys this so many times, like I'll never retreat from doing YouTube because it's something that I've always dreamt of doing since I've discovered that it's something that's doable, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I, what you call it, I made a decision that I'm not going to give up on doing YouTube because yes, it takes time, it takes effort, um, you do have to invest, you do have to buy, you know, the right equipment and the right things to help the quality of your video, if that makes sense, yeah, to, to, <laughs> to, um, to improve the quality of your video, that's something that I'm also working on, um, I definitely want to get, like, cameras because right now you guys know and if you don't know well now you know i film off of an ipad i edit off of an ipad i upload off of an ipad sometimes i edit on my phone or whatever too but you guys still get great videos out of it and it's still impactful videos so um yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys but thank you guys so so much for watching like i genuinely appreciate every single one of you guys um Maybe I'll put like a poll on Instagram or on Facebook, I don't know. Majority of my supporters are, or majority of my supporters that are not ghost supporters are on Instagram compared to Facebook. Facebook, I have more ghost supporters. And if you don't know what ghost supporters mean, that just means people that support me, but it's not obvious. Like, I don't know that they support me until I see them in person, and that's when they're telling me that they support me compared to Instagram. You guys show me so much love in the comments, so much love on my Instagram stories like that, so I know who you guys are. But um, I have been thinking about what to name my supporters because I feel like I'm always calling you guys my supporters or my... Um, subscribers and I feel like a lot of YouTubers or people that take YouTubers YouTube seriously they have a name for their supporters but I the name that I've been thinking about that I still haven't gotten away from um is MM Empire that's what I was thinking about calling you guys so I would say like what's up MM Empire like does that go I feel like it does but MM stands for moral motivation empire that's what I'm thinking about calling it or calling you guys but yeah I don't know let me got let me know what you guys think in the comment section um I'm probably gonna put a poll up on Instagram and see what you guys think or I don't know maybe I'll hold off on that part of my YouTube channel like naming my supporters and doing it another time I don't know but yeah for now that's all i have for you guys thank you guys so so much for watching um again if you are new to my channel welcome definitely give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are new leave comments in the section below let me guys let me know what you guys think of this video and i just want to say thank you guys for tuning in i will see you all in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great